There's an outpouring of abundance. Of abundance. New doors have been opened. The land is green. A new grace has been released. The glory, the glory of the latter is greater than the former. The blessing is here. It's all here. Lift up your hands. Hello, everybody. We are once again welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Ministry, where we keep the fire of the Holy Spirit burning. Today is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank God for how far his brothers. Today is the 11th day of our 21 days fasting and prayer. It is the grace and the message of God that is sustaining us and has brought us this far. If it hadn't been for the Lord who was on our side, um, we wouldn't have come this far. And so we just want to say a big thank you to Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, for being our rock, our fortress, our deliverer, our help, our strength, our shield, our stronghold, the horn of our salvation, our refuge, our savior. He is also our supporter. He is also our provider, defender, sustainer, advocate. He is all, everything to us. In him we live, we move, and breathe. Without him, we are nothing. It's by his grace. So tonight, just to, uh, join me to just thank him for the breath of life that is given to us and also protecting us from pestilence. COVID is increasing this part of the world and claiming so much lives, but here we are still alive. In spite of what's going on around us, we are still here by his grace and by his mercies. We just want to thank God for surviving the, month, the previous month and he has given us the gift of today. And we just want to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. So I just want you to join me as we go before the Lord. As the psalmist says that I'll bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I'll make my boast in the name of the Lord, my God. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. What, wherever you are, I just want you to join me to bless the name of the Lord, to exalt him, to thank him. And to praise him for the Lord has done great and mighty things for us. I know some of us st still have challenges we are dealing with, but we serve a God who answers prayers. And that's why we are fasting. That's why we are praying. He will definitely come through for us and give us the help that we need. Intervene and turn situations in our favor. So just begin to walk by faith and not by sight and see how God will fight your battles for you and give you victories in the name of Jesus. So join me right now and let us say thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your goodness and your mercy and your forever. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we glorify you. Lord, we magnify you. Lord, we enthrone you. For you are good and your goodness and your mercy endure forever. Lord, you are good and your goodness and your mercy. 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 Your goodness and your mercy endure forever. It is by your grace and by your mercy. That's why we are not consumed. Because your compassion defileth not, they are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Blessed be your holy name. Rabba Sukata, Mendele Bese, Ramba Dabasu, Rabba Baba 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 you are glorious in holiness, fearful in praise, and you do wonders. We worship you in the beauty of your holiness. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of health. Thank you for preservation, protection, for being our sustainer, our provider, our helper, our supporter, our defense. Oh Lord, our hiding place, our refuge, our strong tower. We thank you, Lord Almighty, that you are our secret place. Under your mighty wings, we take refuge. We bless you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord, for providing for us every day. Thank you for the, being our deliverer, delivering us from all evil. Thank you for, oh Lord, being our sustainer, sustaining us, Lord, being our sustainer, our redeemer, our rescuer, our provider, our help, our shield, our advocate, our healer. Lord, you our peace. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. 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 Glory and honor and praise belong to Jesus. Glory and honor and praise belong to Jesus. Glory and honor and praise belong to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Lord, you are good, and your goodness and your mercies. Lord, you are good, and your goodness and your mercies endure forever. Lord, you are good, and your goodness and your mercies endure forever. Lord, you are good, and your goodness and your mercies endure forever. You alone deserve all the praise. Holy, holy are you, Lord God Almighty, who is, who is, who is to come. All power, all glory, all honor, all praise belong to you. Lord, we are here, here to say thank you, Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will make my boast in the name of the Lord my God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not his benefit. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, for your mercies. Thank you for being our rock of salvation. Thank you for being our fortress. O oh Lord, thank you for being our strength. Thank you for being our deliverer. Thank you for being our shield. Thank you for being the horn of our salvation, our provider, our sustainer, our supporter, our rescuer, our peace, our healer, our deliverer, our, our restorer. We worship you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. You alone deserve all the praise. Thank you for how far you brought us. And thank you that by faith you've seen us through this journey this year. Thank you that you have helped us throughout the course of this year protected us from sicknesses and diseases from the plans of our enemies and you have provided for us and we thank you that your promises which are here and amen are certainly coming to pass we thank you that during this season of jubilee lord you are pouring your blessing upon us and we thank you that you are restoring the years that the locusts the cancam worm the caterpillar the palm worm have eaten we thank you for the great restoration that is taking place in our lives and we thank you that take curses and yokes and spells and charms and hexes are being broken off our lives and you are ushering us into your blessing and your goodness we thank you lord for changing our lives and changing our destinies we bless you and give you all the glory. The hidden curses and hidden covenant impacting our lives negatively are broken because of the precious blood. Thank you that the curse is broken, the yoke is broken, and thank you that the power of the enemy of our lives are destroyed. Thank you for redemption, deliverance, help. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want you to join me right now to pray for strength to pray as we get closer and closer to the end of the year, you realize that if you don't take care, you will start getting weaker and weaker. And that's the strategy of the enemy. He wants people to get weak so they don't finish well. But the Bible says those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. When you become weak and faint and become worried, you will not be able to pray, you will not be able to fast, you will not be able to be sensitive. And that's when the devil, the devil launches serious attacks to destroy and to snatch blessings from your life so we can't afford to be weak during this season we need the strength of god the grace of god the power of god the anointing of god fresh fire at the altar of prayer that fresh zeal to serve him fresh zeal for the word of god fresh zeal for fasting for fresh zeal to stand for what is right uprightness and holiness we need the Holy Ghost. We need the power of God. We need the anointing. Please pray that Father, give me the finishing anointing, the finishing grace. Like the five wise virgins who had extra oil and for that reason they were able to finish the journey. 
Lord, I need the extra oil, the extra grace, the extra power, the extra anointing. I don't want to go back to my vomit. I don't want to go back to my sins. I don't want to lose focus. I don't want to be distracted. I don't want to go weak and weary and succumb to the devil's onslaught. Father, strengthen me. Lord, pour your spirit upon me. Anoint me with the Holy Ghost and power. Begin to pray for the power of God. Anoint me. Pray for the power of God. Pray for the power of God. Pray for the anointing of God. Pray for the strength of God. Pray for fresh power, fresh oil, fresh anointing, fresh grace, fresh unction to function. Fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil, extra oil. Pray for extra oil, pray for extra oil, pray for extra oil, fresh fire, fresh fire at the altar of prayer. Fresh fire at the altar of the word of God. Fresh fire at the altar of righteous living. Fresh fire for 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 at the altar of service. Fresh fire. Extra oil. Extra oil. Extra oil. Extra oil. Extra oil. Extra oil. Extra grace. Extra power. Regada se kere bushada. Mandala ba 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 Father, have mercy. Pour your spirit upon me. Pour your power upon me. Pour your anointing upon me. Let your grace, O oh God, be sufficient for me. Let your grace, O oh God, be sufficient for me. Let your grace, O oh God, be sufficient. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we need your strength. Lord, we need your grace. Lord, we need your power. Lord, we need your anointing. Lord, we need you. We need you, Holy Spirit. Spirit of the living God. Without you, we can do nothing. Without you, we can do nothing, Lord Jesus. The Bible says, not by might or by power, but by the Spirit. Join me as we go to um, Joel chapter 2, verse 25. Joel chapter 2, verse 25. And tonight, I want us to just pray for restoration. Lord, restore, 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 restore. Before the end of this 21 days fasting, somebody... Your life must be restored. And it starts now. People don't take advantage of prayer. 
The Bible says that unto you that heareth prayer shall all flesh come. Comes. Unto you that heareth prayer. People are waiting to talk. To, no, no, this is the time. Your prayer time is the time of changing your situation and your destiny. This is the time. We are about to pray. Get ready to pray. And your prayer of faith will change your own destiny, will change your situation, and it will bring the glory and the power and the, uh, and the blessings of God into your life. So it is time to press in, press in, press in. Don't be distracted. Don't look at somebody. Don't be reading at somebody's messages to be distracted. Focus on, on, on your visions and your goals. The year is coming to an end and press in until God's purposes are established in your life. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm saying half the terms you want. Joel chapter. Joel chapter. Okay, I'll read it from here. Joel chapter 2, verse 25. I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten. I want us to start from there today, today because today we are ending the restoration of these um, demonic spirit, four demonic spirit or witchcraft spirit that are fighting against us. So the first time, one is we are going to pray. And ask the Lord to restore us the years and the blessings that the locust has eaten. The years we we talked about how the uh, Israelites will sow and harvest, and when it is time for them to enjoy the, the the fruit of their labor, the locust will come in and eat up everything they have labored for. So you do you want to pray that the Lord will rebuke. Uh, this locust out of your life and restore you. Some of us years have been stolen, eaten up by this locust. They've stolen, they've eaten up our marriages, devoured our finances, devoured our glory, our stars and destinies. But during this jubilee, God says, I will restore. I will restore. If God says it, I believe it. And if you can only pray it, he will do it. Because the Bible says that, call unto me and I'll answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. We are going to pray that Heavenly Father, any area of my life, that has been eaten up, devoured by the locust. Years wasted, devoured by the locust. Lord, restore me. Restore my wasted years by the locust. All the years that the locusts have eaten and devoured my blessing. Lord, as I cry out to you right now, I ask you that you restore me now. Lord, restore me now. Lord, restore me now. In the name of Jesus, restore to me the years that the locusts have eaten. And as you pray this prayer in faith, you shall see how God, God has already started giving people testimonies already, breakthroughs already. It is your time to pray and ask the Lord to restore you the years that the locusts have eaten. Let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Restore, Lord. Restore, Lord. Restore, Lord. Restore, Lord. Restore, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let the years that the locusts have devoured, let it be restored. 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 Lord, restore the yes that the locusts have eaten in my life. I pray for restoration in the name of Jesus. I'm asking you, Lord, for total, complete restoration. Restore my marriage, restore my finances, restore my ministry, restore my glory, restore my honor, restore my star, restore my children, restore my family, restore my education, restore my job, restore my profession, my business, restore my career, restore my health, restore my life. Lord, let the years that the locals have devoured be restored, even right now, in the name of Jesus. For your words is asked, and it shall be given, seek, and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. I pray right now. Let the years that the locusts have devoured, the years that the locusts have eaten, the blessings that the locusts have devoured and destroyed in my life. Father, I pray for restoration now. I pray for restoration now. For you are the God who restores. Restore me now. Restore me now. Restore my finances. Restore my glory. Restore my dreams. Restore my visions. Restore my aspiration. Restore my purpose. Restore my glory. Restore my crown. Restore my blessings. Restore, restore. Lost opportunities. We ask, oh Lord, for restoration. Let the years, let the years. 
that the locust have devoured, has wasted, has destroyed in our lives, be restored by your power. Restored by your power in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus begin to restore. Let the power of the Holy Ghost begin to restore in the name of Jesus. I pray for restoration during this 21 days fasting and prayer as I seek your face. Restore me now. Restore me now. Restore my wife. Restore my husband. Restore my family. Restore my marriage. Restore my health. Restore my peace. Restore my joy. Restore my glory. Restore my blessings. Restore, 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 restore my health. Hey, every blessing. Devour, destroy by the destroyer, by the locust. Let it be restored in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Our next prayer, the next one says, Joel chapter 2, verse 25. I will restore the years that the locusts have eaten and the can come worm. The can come worm is a spirit that always fight you from starting any good thing fight you from starting so anytime you want to initiate anything in your life this spirit will come and cause you to fail or not give you the support system to be able to initiate your dreams you said you are going to lose weight you said you are going to go back to school you said you are going to accomplish this whatever you desire to do that can come when will come in discourage you and cause you not to be able to uh, follow through with your dreams, visions, and aspirations. And for that reason, many people have dreams and visions and have great aspirations, but they've never been able to start because of discouragement, laziness, postponing, deferment, obstacles, challenges, hindrances, and therefore they are still only in the dream world of their dreams and visions. They are just dreaming. I want to do this. I wish I would be this, but they cannot start it. The can come worm. You're going to pray, Father, whatever the years that the can come worm has wasted and devoured in my life during today. Today is my day of total restoration. Restore, restore the years that the can come worm has eaten and devoured in my life. Restore me so that from today, whatever I set my heart to do, whatever you have called me to do, every prophetic word that has called forth, I can be able to initiate it, start it, and accomplish it in the name of Jesus. And I receive the necessary help and the the necessary assistant and support system to bring to pass your purposes in my life. No more hindrances, obstacles, roadblocks, impediment, inhibitions, and challenges stop me from starting in the name of Jesus. Restore unto me the years that the can come when I've eaten. Begin to pray that prayer if you want your destiny to change in Jesus' mighty name. The kingdom of God suffer violence and the violent are taking it by force in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, restore. Lord, restore. Lord, restore. Lord, restore. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, restore, 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 restore. Father, restore. Lord, restore us. In the name of Jesus, restore unto us the years that the can come when have eaten, that are blocking us and hindering us from starting our dreams and visions, starting our purposes. Everything we start, we fail because of challenges, because of no help, because of resistance. Father, restore. Lord, restore the years that the can come when have devoured in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Rapas Katayadaba. Repanda la ba 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 restoration. Rapanini mi antoni mi andaba. Restore, O God. Restore, O God. The years that the can come when have eaten. Masuka tayadaba. Reba sakataya. Reba skutayadaba. Reka daraba sukan delebo sendelebo sandaraba. Reba ba 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 ba. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray and cry out to God. And ask him to do something about your situation. Let the Lord change. Change your situation by restoration. Lord, change my condition. Lord, change my status. Lord, change my destiny. Restore, restore, restore unto me. The years, the years that the can't come worm have been eaten, wasted, devoured, and blocked me from starting and executing my purpose and destiny and visions and dreams and, and prophecy. Father, from today, Lord, restore me. Restore me. Let the evil cycle be broken off my life. Let the can come worm spirit die in my life. Restore me, oh God. Restore me, oh God. Restore my children. Restore my wife. Restore my husband. Restore my family. Restore my destiny from the can come worm. In the name of Jesus. Rebaskata, Mekan Tunimianta, Rakata Brande. Pray in the name of Jesus. And let the Lord God Almighty. Restore, restore, restore. The yes, yes, wasted. Yes, devout. Yes, you have not been able to fulfill your dreams. Yes, you have not been able 
to walk in the prophecies of God. Lord, restore the years. Restore the years. Restore my years. Whereby the can come well. I've wasted by devouring and destroying all that you have called me to do today in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, restore the years. Restore me now. Restore me by fire. Restore me now. Restore me by fire. Restore me now. Restore me now. Restore me now. The wasted years by the can come web in the name of Jesus. Rabba Sikata in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yesterday we also dealt with the caterpillar. The caterpillar stage is the worm stage, the lava stage, whereby the enemy turns your glory into shame. Turns your glory into shame. Every good thing that the Lord has planned and programmed for you to fulfill, the devil turns it upside down. Instead of getting married, he causes you to remain single. Instead of getting healed, he causes you to be sick. Instead of getting you delivered, instead of being delivered and free, you are always in bondage and a slave to demons and witchcraft and your enemies. Instead of experiencing glory, you experience shame. Instead of acceptance, he gives you rejection and disappointment. You are always experiencing, instead of being blessed, the, the can uh, the the Caterpillar state will always cause you to experience a curse instead of a blessing. The caterpillar state is the state whereby the devil causes people not to manifest their glory, but rather allows them to go the opposite. Instead of somebody who must be owning your own business or doing very well in your profession or career, you don't even have a job. Somebody who should be having twins and three children or five children, you are barren, they make you barren and not able to have children because of miscarriage. Instead of being blessed to be a blessing, financially, you are struggling. You must beg before you can eat. You must beg before you can pay your bills and your life is marked by poverty, lack, uh, bankruptcy, and, 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 and you realize that you are always what depending on creditors and you are in debt. Why? Because they have turned your glory into shame. But today you are going to pray, Father, restore me. Restore me. Every instead of instead of the caterpillar turning into a beautiful butterfly, they keep you in the place of the caterpillar. An ugly worm. An ugly worm. Instead of a beautiful butterfly with beautiful uh, uh, wings. You are going to pray. Father, restore me and turn my shame into glory. Lord, 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 restore me. Restore me. Any area of my life that I'm not reflecting your glory. Any area of my life. Some of us, our marriages are caterpillar. There's no glory in it. Some of us, our jobs are caterpillar. There's no prosperity in this. Some of us, our health is caterpillar. We don't have health. We don't have strength. We don't have energy. Some of us, spiritually, we are caterpillars because we are in bondage and captivity. In Instead of being freed, some of us, we are not happy because the devil doesn't want you to manifest the butterfly, the glory of God. But today, by this prayer, something is going to shift. Something is going to change. Some good thing is going to turn around in your life. Father, turn, turn, visit me and restore me by turning my shame into glory. Turning my shame into glory. Lord, visit me. Lord, visit me and turn my shame into glory. My caterpillar into butterfly. Begin to pray that prayer one more time in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Lord, turn my shame into glory. 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 For your voice is us, and shall be given to you in ministry. Turn my shame into glory. In my, you know, as a husband, turn my shame into glory. Lord of my death, my calling. Turn my shame into glory. Turn the shame of Lord Samuel to glory. Turn the shame of Esther to glory. Turn the shame of Sonia Sarah to glory. Turn the shame of Reformation to glory. Turn my life around, Lord. Restore me, Lord. Restore. 
before you, Lord. By turning my shame into glory. 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 Turning my caterpillar into butterfly. Lord, let me turn into butterfly. Lord, let me be transformed. Let me manifest your glory. Let me manifest your power. Let me manifest your honor. Let me manifest your blessings. Let me manifest your power. Turn my shame into glory. Turn my shame into glory. Let my reproach into glory. Turn my humiliation into glory. Turn my curse into blessing. Turn my dis- disappointment to appointment. Rabban delekaya. Rekata ya daba. Rebada ba sukabra. Rekada ba daba 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 sukaba. Rebada ba daba daba. Turn my misfortune to fortune. Turn my shame into glory. Turn my curse into blessing. Turn my Oh Lord, me, me, my mission, oh Lord Almighty, oh Lord, to miracles, obstacles to miracles. Turn my shame into glory, my caterpillar into butterfly. Lord, turn my destiny around, turn my destiny around, turn my t- turn all of my oppression to liberty, turn my lack into abundance. Turn my pain into gain. Rekata ya barokoto. Rekata ra da 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 Rebada basuka baya da bada braba. Turn my shame, O oh God, into glory. Turn the shame of French Farm Ministry members, eh, our covenant partners. Hey, turn their shame into glory. Turn our shame into glory. Turn our shame into glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord God Almighty turn your shame into glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. There's power in prayer. Those who pray in faith, they always receive and have testimonies. Joel chapter 2, verse 25. I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the cancam worm, the caterpillar, and then lastly, the palma worm, the palma worm. God is restoring us from these four demonic spirits, the locust, caterpillar, the cancam worm and the palma worm. Today, we are dealing with the palma worm, demon or spirit, and its assignment in our lives. This palma worm operates like a witchcraft or monitoring spirit, which is responsible, its major assignment, which is very, very uh, challenging to most of us, is repeated evil foundational cycles. When Pamam Worm is feeding on this thing, you can be rest assured every year in that specific time they will show up. This monitoring demon is responsible for repeated evil foundational cycle. So if you come from a, 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 a background or a bloodline of your mother or family and you are seeing a specific repeated foundational or generational cycle, then that is the palmam worm enforcing it. It is what causes chronic cycle, chronic, continuous, perpetual, constant, chronic cycle of failure. Everything you do, you fail. And it's chronic. It's not one time. Sicknesses. Every day you are sick. Chronic struggle, not because you are just struggling with this, but everything that you do, you struggle. Frustration. You are constantly experiencing a cycle, chronic cycle of frustration, chronic cycle of defeat, chronic cycle of rejection, chronic cycle of shame, chronic cycle of setback, chronic cycle of setback and disappointment, chronic cycle of every time you enter into a relationship, it does not work. Every time I'm pregnant, miscarriage. Every time you go for interview, you are not called and given the job. It has become what? A evil cycle, pattern, trend going on in your life. You are facing the palma worm demonic entity. And until you break yourself of that evil cycle, you realize that this thing continues again and again. But the word of the Lord says, affliction shall not rise up the second time again. Read that scripture for us. Affliction. Affliction. Not this time. That's what I'm saying. This time, those who want to pray to change their destiny, you change your destiny. There's no shortcut. It's a power of prayer. There's power when people pray. There's power when people pray. Chronic cycle. 
chronic cycle, the chronic evil cycle. You're going to pray that every chronic cycle that is going on in your life, any evil chronic cycle, whether it's a chronic cycle of shame, reproach, disappointment. Now, mm -hmm. one verse nine, it says, what do you conspire against the Lord? Will he make an utter end of it? Affliction will not rise up the second time. Affliction will not rise up the second time. Meaning this palm worm is responsible for repeated evil foundational cycle, repeated generational curses in families. When you see everybody in the family not get, able to get married, everybody in the family experiencing defeat and failures in their education or in their profession or poverty or lack or delay or setback or it can be cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure or people dying mysteriously and it's causing premature death. Any evil trend, any evil pattern that becomes chronic and it's going through the bloodline and affecting people's lives, you are dealing with the palma worm demon or the palma worm curse or witchcraft. It causes you to go through that cycle of rejection. Everywhere you go, you are rejected. Everywhere you go, people are looking down on you. Everywhere you go, people don't take you serious. Everywhere you go, you, you, you experience hate. You experience hate. Every time you become pregnant, miscarriage. Every time you take in something will happen, you lose the baby. Anytime you get a job, you lose it. Every time you get money, the money will disappear. It has become a cycle, a cycle. The palm worm enforces evil generational cycle. But the Bible has made us known that affliction should not be repeating in your life. So you're going to pray today. And as you cry out to God, God will restore you by breaking you loose and free from the palm worm demonic evil cycle. Say this prayer after me and begin to pray it aggressively and see the change. Change is happening now. Change. My, my frustration is when people come on and they don't pray with faith. That's my frustration. When people come on and they don't want, they don't pray and they don't, those who pray to, they don't pray with faith and they are missing destinies changing. They don't know that when we are praying, that's when things are changing. They think that it's by calling you or texting you. It is not where it changes. Changes is when you begin to pray. And God says, raise me a people by teaching them how to pray. That is my job discretion, to help you to pray, to pray in faith and see God change your life. You are going to pray and things are going to change in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Something is going to change. Something is going to change. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, every palm worm, every palm worm, generational, generational, foundational, foundational, chronic, chronic, repeated, repeated, evil, evil, cycle, cycle, pattern, Pattern, trend, trend in my life, in my life. any evil, any evil, Eros, Eros, by the palm and worm, by the palm and worm, in my life, in my life, from my foundation, from my foundation, from evil for others, from evil artists, in my mother's house, in my mother's in house, my father's house, in my father's fighting house, fighting my destiny, fighting my destiny, every cycle, every cycle of shame, of shame, reproach, reproach, disgrace, disgrace, humiliation, humiliation, disappointment, disappointment, setback, setback, delay, delay, singleness, singleness, sickness, sickness, infirmity, infirmity. infirmity Premature death. Premature death. Mysterious death. Mis mysterious death. Calamities. Calamities. Attacks. Attacks. Evil dreams. Evil dreams. Setbacks. Setbacks. Defeat. Defeat. Failures. Failures. Every evil cycle. Every evil cycle. That has marked my life. That has marked my repeatedly. life. Repeatedly. Repeatedly. Barrenness. Barrenness. Unemployment. Unemployment. Evil dreams. Evil dreams. Father. Father, right now, right now, as I pray, as I pray, let the cycle, let the cycle of the palmer worm, of the palmer worm, working against me, working against be me, be broken, be broken in the name of Jesus, name of be, Jesus. Broken be broken in the name of Jesus. In the name of today, Jesus. today, I exercise, I exercise my, authority my authority as a child of God, child and, of I God and I command that evil cycle, that evil cycle, that generational cycle, that generational cycle in my mother's bloodline, in my mother's blood that affected my mother, that affected that generational mother. evil cycle. That generational that evil affected cycle. my father. That affected that my want father. to attack my life. That want to attack my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of your Jesus. word says. Your word says afflictions, afflictions shall not rise. Shall not rise the second time. The second time. This evil palm worm. 
this evil palm out. Wow. Fought my mother. Fought my mother. Fought my father. Fought my father. But in the name of Jesus. But in the name of Jesus. I will not allow it. I will not allow to defeat me. To defeat me. And prevail over me. And prevail over me. In the me. name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command. I command. That palm worm. That palm worm. Evil pattern. Evil pattern. Evil errors. Evil errors. Evil foundational cycle. Evil foundational cycle. Working against me. Working against to be me. broken now. To be broken now. To be broken now. To be broken I break now. it now. I break in it the now. name of Jesus. In the name I break Jesus. it now. I break by it the now. blood of Jesus. I break it now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I break it in Jesus' name. I break As it I pray, I clap my hands and break every evil pattern. I break, 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 I break. I break every evil cycle. I break every evil cycle. Satanic cycle, demonic cycle, altar cycle, foundational cycle, ancient cycle of the palm web. Enforcing generational curses, hidden covenants against my life in the name of Jesus. Whatever the curse is in my my family, my bloodline, my mother's bloodline, my father's bloodline, in the name of Jesus, I command that curse in my bloodline. The curse of defeat, the curse of failure, the curse of rejection, the curse of disappointment, the curse of unemployment, the curse of singleness, the curse of poverty, the curse of premature death, the curse of lack, the curse all of sickness and disease. In the name of Jesus, whatever evil curse that has become a chronic cycle in my life, break in the name of Jesus. Break by the blood of Jesus. Break by the power of the Holy Ghost. I break the curse of my life. I break the curse of my sons. I break the curse of my daughter. I break the curse of my husband. I break the curse of my wife. I break the curse of my life. In the name of Jesus, let the curse be broken. Let the curse be broken. Let the curse be broken. Let the curse of the palmer web be broken off my life. In the name of Jesus. I detach myself. I detach myself. I detach myself. I detach myself from the palm worm curse, from my mother's bloodline, from the palm worm curse, from my father's bloodline. Every generational curse from my mother's bloodline, from my father's bloodline, operating, I have an effect in my life. I break the curse. I break the cycle. I break the pattern. I break the error of my life. I disassociate myself by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I crush the curse. I dissolve the curse. I revoke the curse. I renounce the curse. I reverse the covenant. In the name of Jesus, let the curse of the palm web be broken of my life, of my children, of my spouse, of my family, of my marriage. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the raise of the anointed, I break the curse. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Tell the kids to bring the blood of Jesus. We are going to pray in a cup. We are going to pray for restoration. Restoration. When the curse is broken, you must be restored. Somebody, before the end of this 21 days, something you've never been able to experience in your life, as an evidence, as an evidence that the Lord has brought you deliverance and restoration from the cancam worm, from the locust, from the pamam worm, and from the caterpillar, the evidence of your deliverance is your ability to do what you couldn't do before. The ability to do what it's not about the coughing and the yawning and screaming and falling down. That is not deliverance. That is the process of deliverance. But when you are truly delivered, you begin to see a change, transformation. You begin to do things you couldn't do before. You begin to be able to break forth and break through areas you couldn't break forth before. Why? Because now the yoke is broken. You are going to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the wasted years, the, the Lord says in Joel chapter 2 verse 25, I will restore to you the years the locusts have eaten, the cancam worm, the caterpillar, and the palm worm. Lord, restore unto me my wasted years by the palm worm. Restore, 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 restore unto me the wasted years that the palm worm have, have eaten in my marriage, have eaten in my finances, have eaten concerning my destiny. Father, restore, restore my wasted years by the palm worm. Restore it now. Restore it now. Lord, restore me in the name of Jesus. Lord, restore me by the blood of Jesus. Lord, restore me by the power and the blood of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, restore me now restoration now begin to pray for your restoration in the mighty name of jesus restore 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 father in the name of jesus i ask for total restoration complete restoration all round restoration in the mighty name of jesus restore 
restore, 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 oh God, my wasted years, restore, oh God, my wasted years, restore, oh God, my wasted blessing, my wasted possession, my wasted inheritance, my wasted birthright, my wasted glory, my wasted stardom, my wasted prophecy, Lord, restore, restore me now, restore my husband, restore my wife, restore my marriage, restore my finances, restore my destiny, restore my children, restore, 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 oh God, whatever the palm and worm have stolen by generational curses, by chronic evil party, let it be restored. Let me be restored. Let me be restored now in the name of Jesus. Restore my wasted years by the power in the name of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let me be restored and let me begin to break forth, break through and expand and increase and fulfill your purpose for my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Be delivered and be restored from the palm and worm spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Let's take the communion. Father, tonight, by the power in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, we rebuke every palm and worm demon. We rebuke every palm and worm curse. We rebuke every palm and worm witchcraft. We rebuke every palm and worm foundational, generational strongholds. We rebuke it and we break the evil cycle. Anyone hearing the sound of my voice going through the cycle of defeat, stagnation, retrogression, misfortunes, curses, uh, spiritual marriage, and anything that is going on as chronic in their lives. Chronic, chronic, chronic unemployment, chronic financial difficulties, chronic sickness, chronic attack, chronic evil dream, chronic whatever ev evil cycle, chronic cycle, evil errors going on in your life, chronic accident, chronic, chronic people dying mysteriously in your family. Today, let that evil cycle pattern trend in your life be broken in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the rest of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. But the Bible says, affliction shall not rise up the second time. Somebody you are listening to me every year, two years or three years or four years, last year you buried people in your family around this time. And it seems that death is already looming over the family members again. But today I command that evil cycle to be broken in the name of Jesus. Somebody every time around this time you get accident, your car accident, Today, let that evil cycle be broken in the name of Jesus. That chronic cycle whereby year, every year around ending the year, you or a relative or family member will be involved in an accident or something will happen and somebody will die mysteriously. Today, may that evil affliction not return again in your life because you are interceding for your family. May the curse be broken in the name of Jesus. Somebody, whenever you take in, you take in, you take in. The cycle of miscarriage, miscarriage today by the power of the Holy Ghost, I break that curse off your life in the name of Jesus. Whatever evil cycle you enter into a relationship before it to develop into courtship and into marriage, the person will disappear from your life. Let that evil cycle be broken. The cycle, wherever you go for interview and you can't get a job, let that evil cycle be broken off your life. Every evil cycle of demonic dreams, satanic dreams that you have been having nightmares, sleep paralysis, sex in dreams, today by the raising of the anointing, by the raising in the blood of Jesus, by the raising of the Holy Ghost, I break that evil pattern of your life and I set you free in the name of Jesus Christ. As you drink the blood, let the blood detach you, disconnect you, disassociate you from every foundational, generational, palm worm curses, witchcraft, and demonic attacks. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive your deliverance from every sicknesses which has become chronic from your bloodline. That chronic uh, curse of cancer, chronic curse of diabetes, high blood pressure, heart problem that you are also experiencing. Your mother went through it. Your siblings are going through it. Family members are going through it. But today, may you be exempted. May you be, uh, may you be healed. And even as you stand in the gap for your mother or your father, may they also be delivered in the name of Jesus. I break every satanic generational foundational patterns errors by the palm worm of your life. And I rebuke every palm worm demon, altar, spirit from attacking you in Jesus' name. Your life is safe in Christ. Amen. Amen. Jesus. As you drink the blood, may the Lord spare you and deliver you from COVID and all manners of evil. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. The fasting continues from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And we meet every day at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. 11 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 a.m. Those of you in London, 5 a.m. For those of you in Europe, 
you join us for prayers. Please, if you are watching us from the Fresh Fire prayer line, before you finish, subscribe to it and click on the bell to be notified. If you are watching us from KL Blessing, subscribe and hit the bell. If you are watching us from Facebook, also click follow and join us and also share it and invite people to join us. Tomorrow, our, tomorrow we are starting with the book of Psalms. We, we, we finish if you've been diligent with your Bible studies. By this time, we've read more than 10 books this year, about 15 books. And we are now moving to the book of Psalms. And we are going to finish the year with the book of Psalms. Psalm yeah. This year. yeah. Second time we are reading Psalms. So we, God says we should finish with the book of Psalms. So tomorrow we are starting from Psalms 1. I will advise you to finish your Romans quickly and join us with the Psalms 1 because it's going to help you finish the year. A lot of things are going to be happening and you need the Psalms in your life to keep you focused on God and his protection and his preservation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For any other information, go to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com. For any offering, sacrifices, seats, go to the website, www.freshfireprayer.com. Click on the, uh, on the donation button and you can do so. We thank God. Um, today, let us take one or two testimonies uh, of what the Lord has done. And let us give him all the praise. Please, as you, you're calling for your testimonies, uh, be very brief. Be very brief. We are only taking, we want others to be able to share their testimony. So you just go straight to the point and then mute your um, computer and talk through your phone so that there will be no background noise. And please be very brief as you as much, two minutes, you, one minute or two minutes, straight to the point and let us just know what God has done to, for us. Uh, you were trusting God for this and he has done it. Just a very brief testimony to encourage the same, the Bible says we overcame the devil by the blood of the lamp and the words of our testimony. And also testimony has a way of boosting people's faith and also letting them also get their own breakthrough. So we give opportunity for people to testify in order for others to believe that God answers prayers so that they can also uh, receive their breakthrough. And also it, it ferments or it also establishes your personal testimony because you've given praise to God and you have told it in the congregation of the righteous. Um, the number to call for your testimony is 240 If you have any testimony, just call in. Hello? 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 Yeah, what's your testimony? Good evening. Yeah, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good evening, um, Reverend K. Good evening. And um, Minister um, Esther. Amen. I just want to give God the glory for His goodness and His mercy. Um, today God added another year to my years. Amen, amen, amen. And this age of mine is very critical in my family. Okay. So I want to thank God, even though the enemy tried all they could. <clears throat> but they didn't, they didn't succeed. I'm, I'm very grateful that I'm alive today to testify to his um, goodness and his um, what is is wonderful deed. Amen, amen, amen. We thank God for preserving your life and mm -hmm. making the palm worm evil cycle of premature death in your family to be broken off your life. Your life is exempted in Jesus' name. Your life is exempted. Jesus' name. Amen. And I do have um. You talked about a court. Uh, about like a court case, something like that. But I want to give God the glory that there was, I didn't even know that that would even uh, respond to me in a way because I thought it was a minor thing. But as God we have it, I I took some, uh, one, one of these um, name brand um, company to court. Mm -hmm. 
they, they, they lost one of my items in their possession. So it's over a year and a half. So they are trying to dribble me and all that. But to the God be the glory, they have now come to settlement, mm. you know, of the item. In fact, it's 10, times, 12, 10, times 10 of what I bought it for. Wow. Restoration. So I just want to give God the glory. And by God's grace, everything settled out. So I will come and pay my tithes on that in restoration. Jesus' name. We thank God for restoration. We thank God for restoration. May the Lord restore you and give you triple for your troubles in Jesus' name. God bless you. Amen and amen. We thank God for breaking the cycle of premature death in her family and extending and giving her a year. And that's what we're talking about, the palmam worm. They will cause a repeated chronic evil cycle. But when you pray, God delivers you. And also, since it's our jubilee and our restoration season, the Lord is restoring something which happened a year ago. But finally, they are coming around to restore her. It is God working. We give glory to God. Tomorrow we will continue. Our time is up. May God's name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. amen. God richly bless you all. And tomorrow we continue with our fasting from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And we meet at 11 p.m. Eastern time for prayers. Um, those of you in uh, in London, it's 4 a.m. If you're in Europe, it will be 5 a.m. May the peace of God that surpass all understanding keep your heart and mind in, in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. There's an outpouring of abundance, of abundance. New doors have been opened. The land is green. A new grace has been released. The glory, the glory of the Lamb.